Hello everyone and thank you for checking in. For everyone who is new here, my name is Marcin and on a daily basis I work as professional retoucher. On this channel I share with you mainly retouching tutorials and today I want to talk about retouching skin. On this channel I already have a lot of tutorials about retouching skin but today I want to make some things clear. So we are going to talk about three essential things of retouching and two of them are mandatory if you want to retouch images in the right way and one of them is additional. So I often get a question um, despite showing how to retouch images I often get a question on how to retouch the skin if the skin is really bad, full of scars, full of uh, strong red pimples, how to do it? And the answer is, if you think of professional retouching, there's always the same way of doing things. So if the skin is good, you retouch the same way, but of course, less. If the skin is really bad, you use the same tools and the same techniques but of course, you need to be more careful. You want to, you need to put more, more work. And of course, it will take more time. So what are these three steps that I always do? So the first step is cleaning up the image. I have two layers here. So as you can see, this regular layer that I copied and empty layer. It doesn't mean you have to work on this two layers. I have them only because I was presenting different tools. So you start with empty layer and you clean all of the star scars, all of the pimples and some hair, maybe the things that should not be there if the image meant to be clean. And the best tool for it will be of course a healing brush tool, which is number one choice, how I work with it. Sometimes as the addition, I use clone stamp too as well, especially on the edges when I need to break down some of the texture. Uh, with the patch tool, of course, with the patch tool you have, you can only work on the regular layer. So making things straight, you just do in the first step, the first essential thing of retouching, you mainly be using healing brush tool. And of course, you will lose some texture. Um, you might get some disproportion and still, because of the scars and very strong pimples that were there, you will get this redness. And despite doing this on this image, it still doesn't look well. And here it comes the second essential step, which is dodge and burn retouching. And here comes the most confusion. Of course, there are different uh, ways of working with Dutch and Burn. Most popular is working with curves, which I usually do. And the second way of working is working on the gray layer, which have some comfort because you don't have to make that many layers. But um, at the start might be a little bit more difficult. So let me show you, let me open this Dutch and Bell layers. And as you can see, it's huge difference. So what changed here, as you can see, we had a lot of patches after cleaning up. After Dutch and Burn process, there is no patches. Why? Dutch and Burn, and I have video on Dutch and Burning. So check my channel if you want to know what is Dutch and Burn uh, retouching in details. Now I'm going to mention it quickly. So. With dodging and burning, you work with the light. When you dodging, you trying to lighten up, brighten up some spots. Sorry for mistake. So you brightening up the dark spots, and these dark spots might be after the scar. When you retouched the scar on the face, it might be some hole, which is darker than the skin surrounding that hole. So then. Using Dutch and Burn, you want to add some light to it to make it even. And when it comes to the burn, I use the curves the same. In this case, I'm darkening. 
So not every spot is um, brighter or darker, but some is bright, some is dark, and some of them we need to darken, some of them we need to brighten. And how it looks, you can see, I'm pressing Alter option to show you how this mask of Dutch and Burn looks here. So these are the strokes that I did. And let me tell you about the confusion because I always say to my students, you need to use Dutch and Burn. Um, this is actually only one way to make the skin look perfect. And as you can see, this was horrible image. We had a lot of scars, the face was very red, but despite that using clean empty layer, but doing cleaning up and Dutch and Burn, we got the skin uh, pretty even. It, it looks really good now. So I get the question, someone tried Dutch and Burn and they say it didn't work for me. I believe you can relate to this and there is there is the reason why it didn't work. The truth at the, about Dutch and Burn is you need to be good at this. And what I mean that, that I don't mean that not everyone can do it, but it requires the patience and the practice. So with the mouse, you can't retouch. That's the fact. If you want the good result, you won't do it with the mouse and you won't do it with the pad. What do you need? You need Wacom tablet. It's the cheapest tablet. Um, this version is like $100, less than that. I believe way less than that. For retouching, you don't need professional tablet. Basic tablet where you can use pen and tablet to do the strokes. Because of the tablet, you are able to clean up the image faster and you are able to do the proper dutch and burn. And many of the students, they get the tablet, they try it for a few days, they give up. After a few days, you will not be good at retouching. Spend on this at least a few weeks and you will start seeing progress. And that was my story. So don't be surprised if dutch and burn do not work for you when you use mouse. It will not work and don't give up about a few days so these two essential steps of Dutch and Burn and as you can see it looks perfect but the last thing uh, when we retouch this sort of face where we have a lot of redness we are left with the redness so what I like to do at the end work with the color and then I'm removing this unnecessary redness that exists on the image. And how I do it, I create the empty layer, change the blending mode to color. And once it's done, I'm choosing B like a brush because I'd be working with the brush. Choose Alt or Option to get the sample of some good color. And once you get the sample, you cover the redness and it works pretty well. Let's uh, see here, uh, around the nose, we have some of this red color. And as you can see, with this simple stroke, I'm able to remove it. It's too strong for sure. So I don't want such a strong effect. I'm going to do the step back. And so once again, slowly trying to cover up. On the lips, you could see stronger effect. Of course, we don't want to do it. So color blending mode and softly with the brush you can cover the redness this is a very simple but very powerful technique when it comes to fixing color on your images and i have other example where was uh, some more work because um, i want to answer the questions about maybe frequency separation and some additional things so on this image i did uh, some more things I did the same thing when it comes to cleaning up the skin. And what you can see, I used the frequency separation. And I have, once again, tutorial on my channel on frequency separation. So don't use this as the main retouching technique. Use this for some elements. In On this image, I use this only to work on the lips. And I use this only to retouch her a little bit. And that's it. I did not work on the skin because this technique is actually destructive for the skin. Then of course, touch and burn. Still, I had some redness here. I fix it with this one layer and then I worked with the contrast, with the color and did some final touch-ups and that's it. So remember, retouching is simple. You just need to perfect the basic retouching techniques. Work on empty layer, healing brush tool, clone stamp tool and remember 
Master Dutch and Burn Retouching. Thank you for watching. I hope that was useful. And I hope if you had any doubts about retouching, you will not have them anymore. If you need some more resources, please check the links in the description. You can check my portfolio. You can check some of my premium courses. And soon I'm going to come back with another Photoshop tutorial. Thank you.